everybody, Cindy Oda here with my RT Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty well. I have been doing videos all day and I'm just having fun doing them. This is the remainder of the deck. Whoops. For some reason that one's upside down. That, um, let's see if there's any more upside down. No. That I've been using my pick five deck these I've done the last two videos with so because I've been getting so many prompts um, of the same I'm gonna leave those out and I'm gonna pick these prompts from what is left in the deck for these three different pieces of puzzle so I've sat here and I've been playing around with them I've been shuffling them I've been you know doing everything I can with them to try to get you know different prompts so let's go ahead and do this we're going to go like this, and let's see, we've got one, two, three, so here's two, here's three, here's four, and five. All right, let's see what we've got. We have, on this little piece, <laughs> tiny piece. What are we going to do? We are going to use an old map or sewing paper. That's different. Black or gray gesso. Start the page with two eyes or two legs. Uh, use a brayer or a gift card. Use a round stencil or a square stencil. Hmm, that one's going to be interesting. This one, this is the bigger one. We are going to use three paper textures or three paint textures. Doodle or stamp a border. Add freeform shapes or add geometric shapes. Draw flowers or a tree. And use rectangles or triangles. Oh, these are going to be challenging. Let's see what this one is. Use fabric or ribbon. Draw with my non-dominant hand or close my eyes when I draw. Use watercolors or water-soluble uh, medium, which is could be gelatos, watercolor pens, derwents, whatever. Um, use hand carved stamp or use a found mark making tool. Uh, write random words or use a quote. On this little bitty piece, we're going to do all that, right? Okay, so I'm just going to put the rest of this deck together. These are the last three pieces of the puzzle. And after this puzzle, I'm, you know, after this is done, I'm going to show them to you. And then I'm going to do another video where I put the actual puzzle together. All right? I'm going to go ahead and throw out a movie. I hope you guys enjoy, and we'll chat at the end.
Wow, guys, this was crazy. <laughs> All right, so let's start out with the first one that I did. This one was just interesting. Um, here's how it ended up. Yeah, different. All right, so what I did is I used a sewing pattern underneath. Then it said to use black gesso, so I used black gesso with a gift card. So I spread some black gesso around there. And it said start the page with two eyes. Well, I don't want to have to go around those eyes doing all that other stuff. So yeah, I put them on next. That's, you know, whatever. We have, we have the power to change whatever we want, right? Um, okay, and then it said to use a square stencil. Square or round, I used a square stencil. So yeah, it's interesting. Um, not my favorite piece, but it's done. <laughs> it's interesting. This one, this one was difficult. And it was difficult because I started out with the three paper textures. Um, let's see, textures are right here. I did use, this is like a homemade paper. And then I used a braille paper. And then I used this, I don't know, it's like a pleather leather, I don't know what it is. But I use that. Um, those were my three textures. Then it says use rectangles or triangles. And I decided to use a few little rectangles in here of the white with the stripes. Draw flowers or trees. I drew some flowers. I did those on a different piece of paper just because I know how difficult it was going to be to draw on that textured paper. So I did do it on a different thing. Um, add freeform shapes or geometric shapes. I just decided to add a few little of these teal lines in here. Just something different. Freeform. And then doodle or stamp the border. Um, doodling was out of the question so I did do a stamp. It's difficult to see in a lot of the places um, but I did do um, arrows going all the way around it. So there's that one. Interesting, huh? This one I enjoyed. This one I had a lot of fun with. Um, this one, let's see, we started out with either fabric or ribbon. I decided to get some fabric and I showed you guys the fabric um, that I've got here. So I used fabric. I decided to draw with my non-dominant hand because if I closed my eyes and drew, God only knows where it would have been. It probably wouldn't have been on this piece. So I decided to go ahead and draw with my non-dominant and that's where I decided to do just these doodles. Just something different. Um, then it said use a hand carved stamp or a found mark making tool. I decided I didn't really want a focal point on this, so I decided to use the mark making tool and I think I put it away already, but that top, it was just one of the tops to the deodorants, the um, solid deodorants. So, and I decided to do it in white and just make these little marks on here. Then it said use watercolors or water soluble medium. I used my Derwent ink tense pencils and also my Arteza. Um, these are woodless watercolor pencils basically. Um, I like them. I like them but my Derwent for this had a lot more pigment to it so I decided to stick with mostly Derwent. And then write random words or use a quote. I decided I was just going to write words that I thought about how I felt by doing this puzzle. It was a lot of fun. I did a lot of play. And the end, this is the last piece. So what I'm going to do now is I will get together a video and I will get this puzzle put together. This is the most exciting part to me. I cannot wait to see what it looks like. Um, here's all our pieces. They all sit right here. Um, so if you missed any of the videos, you're actually going to get to see all the pieces put together here very shortly. But I hope somebody played along. Um, this was actually a really fun project to do. Don't forget, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I will see you on the next video, guys. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. Bye.